everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a chocolate and vanilla unboxing of my Neko Parrot figures from Freeing. Neko Parrot is a mature adult visual novel and there are five volumes. Um, it's so popular, it's already sold three million copies on Steam uh, this year. So if you really like cute Neko girls and visual novels, you may be interested in, in this series. There is an anime and an OVA. And yeah, so I'm really excited to share these figures with you because they're just super cute and I'm really happy with the quality. You may notice this brand from their bunny girl figures. They're so cute. And I'll just put a couple on the screen here. So these figures were released on the 1st of January 2020 and I ordered these a year before with YY Kawaii um, but you can also find them on other retailers if you look around. They're 1 12th in scale so they're quite small but they are super cute quality. So here are the boxes together, um, they're super cute packaging. So here is Chocola, she's being unboxed first because she is kind of the main girl of the series and then Vanilla is a little bit quieter than her um, like kind of playful and loud personality. So this is just the sides of the box and on the back they have the other girls who are currently out which is Maple and Cinnamon. I really love the um, figures so hopefully I can get some more. But there are also other like full sets that have the figures. For example you have the little petites and so yeah this is just the opening of the box if I can get the scissors. So I'm just opening her up. Chocola. So while I'm opening her up, leave me a comment down below. Who is your favourite Neko girl from this series? Uh, my favourite Neko girl is actually Coconut. I just love her personality the most. And yeah, she's just so cute. So I really hope they release a Coconut um, figure for this collection soon. So that was just the little slip of how to put her together. She's really easy to assemble, all you have to do is put her head on and slip in the little ice cream that she comes with. So this is the base that they stand on. It's really simple to slide them in. Um, they've got quite a thick grip on them so they're not going to go anywhere. Um, so you just put her on there. And that's it. This ice cream is so cute. Like It's got little cat ears and you pop this into their hand really simple. You can see that it doesn't fall out. So I'm just taking out her head and it, it she looks so weird without her head on. I should have tried putting their heads on each other but I didn't think about that when I filmed this so when I go home I'll, I'll try and put them on and see if they look kind of funny in each other's swimsuits. So yeah the head was just super easy and slots on like that and yeah it just it stays on really nicely. So this is the figure all up close. Um, she's so cute and she has really cute little sunflower details and as you can see her toes and hands are also painted. Um, her hair is super lush and I just really think the little curls are so cute and the little ribbons on the side of her bikini. <laughs> So next up I'm unboxing Vanilla and she is so cute, she's the quieter cat girl of the series and she has more of an innocent nature but she is also quite 
mischievous and fun, um, just in a different way to Chocola. The boxes are pretty similar, they have the same girls on the back since there are only four in this collection and yeah it's just a nice blue colour that complements Vanilla's colour scheme. If you were a NECA girl, what colours would you choose? Um, if you haven't commented already, what is the colours that you would have for your like maid outfit, your colour scheme in general? I would definitely be a very lilac themed um, since that is my favourite colour. And these slips are pretty cool to be honest. And here is Vanilla's ice cream. Super cute and I assume it would be vanilla and chocolate would be chocolate. If I had an ice cream, gosh, I love so many ice creams. It would be chocolate, honeycomb, fudge, cookie, Oreo. Um, and I'm probably going to kick myself because there's other ones I like. But yeah. So vanilla slides in just as chocolate does. And to be honest, her grip on it is a lot looser than chocolate's. Um, I'm not sure if it's, you know, just, you know, some are randomly can get a bit loose, but yeah, she did um, come off the stand a bit more than chocolate. Um, I didn't film this, but yeah, she's just a little bit looser, but I'm not gonna be moving them around too much, so it doesn't really bother me. Her ice cream, however, does stay in as well. And now I'm taking out her little head. As you can see, obviously. And I really love the curls on her hair. Chocolate has just as nice curls, but I feel like vanillas are just super, like, um, like really on show. And as you can see from that previous clip, the her eyes are just so detailed. There she is looking really cute. So here is Vanilla's figure up close. As you can see, the detail in the eyes is really cute. And I'm not sure what flowers these are. Are these hibiscus? I'm not sure. Let me know if you know. And I think she's got really cute details on the ribbons as well. And I really like the kind of greenish teal colour that they added to her design. It really does complement the blue tones. And it's like a sea foam green. Um, it's just really cute. And again, she is a little bit different to Vanilla's outfit. Chocolate's outfit. Uh, I had to include that scene. It's just super cute with the strawberry. But here they are together. Um, they look so nice set up together and as you can see in the video their bases are like kind of clockwork so you can move them around each other which I thought was kind of interesting. And here is a little video for comparison. So I just thought I'd include this little clip at the end because I think they look so cute when my room is all lit up in the evening and glowing. I decided to put them on my shelves here and I really love them. Um, they just really complement the shelves so I put them next to these little Kirby boxes that hold like my makeup wipes and yeah my little like necessities. 
And there is my vanilla perfume as well, which I thought was kind of ironic, but it didn't really fit on the second shelf with vanilla. If you are looking at getting these figures and are new to my channel, then I hope this video helped you decide whether you like them or not. Or if you were just here to watch for the video, then thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm not too sure what's going to be next. Um, I'm thinking maybe a room tour. So yeah, let me know who is your favourite Neko Para girl and what colour scheme would you have if you were a Neko Para, Neko Para character. Um, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, and check out my Instagram if you want to see me more. It's at Fairy Pastels. Bye, guys.